Hi everyone, welcome back to PMP Question Practice. I'm so excited, this is the favorite part of my day. These are absolutely a bunch of fun. Five questions for your PMP practice exam uh, or CAPM. I'm gonna be looking at them for the first time as well. We'll go through them together and figure, figure them out together. Let's get into it. First question, you're working on a major project for your company where only 50% of the work has been completed. Project has been completed. 80% has been spent, so this could be an actual cost. Uh, actual cost has been spent, 80%. 50% has been completed, that's our, uh, our earned value or EV. Okay, let's see where this goes. When making a decision on whether or not to continue, what are the costs called that have already been spent? Okay, it's not a costs question then, it's a, it's a decision making. Uh, it's not earned value because, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it looks like it, but it's not. It's the sunk costs, it's the costs, and we don't look at these when we're making decisions on our project on whether to continue, because it's already been spent. So it's not the exception report. Whoops, it's uh, probably the sunk costs, it's not milestones. Let's go with letter C. Answer C, how did you go? Money that's already been spent is called the sunk cost. Cost already spent cannot change and should not be considered for future decision making. Now that's also very hard to do actually in practice. So psychologically, you know, we always look at that money that has been spent. So keep that in mind in the real world. How did you go? Let's look at question two. The two complete performance index, TCPI. Okay, this looks much more like a, uh, a mathematics one. I love mathematics ones, you know, I'm not very good at them, but let's have a look. It's the future cost performance of the project. Your project has a budget of 15,000. Okay, budget at completion, 15,000. 50% 50 has been completed. 7,500 uh, is, the, is the earned value uh, against planned. So planned value of 60%. What's 60% of 15,000? Add an extra 1,500, so 9,000. Okay, gosh, 9,000 has been spent so far. So that's the actual cost. Actual cost, 9,000. All right, what is the efficiency that must be maintained in order to complete, as planned, the two complete performance index? Wow, I can't remember the actual formula for this, uh, which is a real shame. So. Uh, you know, and you might have one or two of these on the exam, but not a lot. So, you know, it, it's not gonna be the end of the world if you don't, uh, but let's see if we can figure this out. So we've, uh, we need to have an efficiency to complete the project. So we have earned 7,500, uh, but it was planned that we had 9,000. So would we say at least it's gonna be a, more than one. So we're gonna to have to have a higher efficiency than one. We're gonna to have to complete more than what we would have thought. So, you know, definitely at least an extra 10%. Uh, I mean, so if, if we're looking at that, probably 1.25 is gonna be the closest to what we're after. I am just gonna go with that and let's see if it gives us the formula and we can work it out from there. So let's go with letter B for now. Okay, answer B. So that's good, you know, that's promising. To complete performance index, Okay, budget at completion minus earned value. Wow, so, okay, so that's 7,500. Uh, and then divided by budget at completion minus actual cost, which is 15,000 minus 9,000 is 6,000. So it's 6,000. So 7,500 divided by six. Okay, and as you can see, we've got 7,500 here. Uh, and then divided by that amount there, that gives us 1.25. So it's a little bit more than, than what I was looking at. But uh, yeah, we sort of got into the ballpark there. Very tricky, uh, and you will probably come across at least one of these in the exam, but not a lot. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, uh, and you can always try and figure it out in this way as well. Let's look at question three. I hope you did better than I did on that one. <laughs> Your project has a budget of $200,000. Lots of uh, mathematics for this one. Again, gosh. Uh, so 60% of the work has been completed, so $120,000 is our earned value. Uh, planned 50%, $100,000. 590,000 has been spent so far, so we're way over budget. Uh, that's our actual cost. What is the schedule performance index? Uh, schedule performance index, these ones I can do. So schedule and cost performance index are our earned value divided by something because we're looking at what we've earned and how we're going. So schedule performance index, cost performance index, it's earned value divided by something. And the cost performance index is divided by the cost, our actual cost. And the schedule is 
uh, divided by our planned schedule, so our planned value. So if we've got earned value, 120,000, divided by what we'd planned, 100,000, uh, I mean, that looks pretty straightforward to me. That's gonna be a 1.20 right there. So I'm gonna go with letter A. Let's see how we go. Fantastic, answer A. The Schedule Performance Index, EV divided by planned value. So there it is there, very good. How did you guys go? Let's look at question four. You're working on a brand new project and you need to estimate how much it will cost. Estimating techniques, this sounds like. You have the cost per unit for all items needed. These are great, I love these, very easy. What is the name of the estimating technique you will use? So uh, what is it? We have the cost per unit. So that's, uh, cost per unit is a parameter. So the, we're looking at the parameter, we're measuring by a parameter. So it's not three point estimating necessarily. Not executive estimating, that's not a thing. Not data estimating, that's not a thing either. Let's go with letter D, parametric estimating. Parametric estimating is a technique to estimate cost or duration using parameters. So $5 per meter or $100 per hour or whatever that is. Uh, you know, so that's, that's our parameter there. That's our estimating technique. Last question, guys. Let's have a look. Question five. Your project has a budget of $500,000. 60% of the work has been completed against 70% uh, that we had planned. 280,000 has been spent so far. Gosh, oh, they're making me do so much math today. Uh, <laughs> what is the earned value? Okay, well, that's not too bad because earned value is just uh, the percentage of complete work uh, uh, multiplied by the budget. So <laughs> budget at completion uh, times 60%, 0 0.60. Uh, so what is that? What's 50% is, is of 500,000 is 250,000. Uh, and then add another 10% would be 50,000, so 300,000. Let's go with that for our earned value. I think that's letter C, that's pretty straightforward. Answer C, fantastic. Earned value, actual percentage complete, uh, times the budget at completion, 0 0.60 times $500,000, $300,000. That's the last question. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It's a bunch of fun. I completely believe in you for your PMP exam. Keep studying and keep practicing every single day, and I absolutely know you can pass your PMP exam. It's so worthwhile. It's one of the greatest skills you can have in today's economy, and I know you can do it. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.